children. Good morning, teacher. So please stand up for our prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sins against us. Do not bring us into the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Once again, good morning, children. Good morning, teacher. Okay, before you will take your seat, please pick up some pieces of paper under your chair. So if you are done, you can take your seat now. So before anything else, I will check your attendance first. So stay present if your name is called. Gulay Zia Angela. Present. Monte Maria Daisy. Present. Okay, everyone is pre present. Then let us all clap our hands. How are you today? Are you all fine? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, very good. Did you eat your breakfast? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, it's nice to hear that you eat your breakfast. So, children, welcome to our PE class. Okay, so today's learning objectives. First is to recognize between underhand and overhand movement through performing and in jet. Second is to follow the correct steps in performing the two types of throw pattern. Third is to demonstrate the underhand and the overhand movement. Before we start our lesson for today, do you want to sing and dance class? Yes, teacher. Okay, let us all stand up for our energizer. This is the roll over the ocean. It's me who builds community. It's me, it's me, it's me who builds community. It's me who builds community. Roll over the ocean, roll over the sea, roll over the ocean in the deep blue sea. Roll over the ocean, roll over the sea. It's you, it's you who builds community. It's you, it's you, it's you who builds community. It's you, it's you, it's you who builds community. It's you who builds community. Roll over the ocean, roll over the sea, roll over the ocean and the deep blue sea. Roll over the ocean, roll over the sea. Now, are you all energized? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So, are you all excited to learn? Yes, teacher. What do you think is our topic for this morning? Yes, Maya Daisy. Our topic for this morning is 
is about throw pattern. Okay, our lesson is all about the underhand and the overhand movement, which is throw pattern. Okay, underhand and overhand movement, throw pattern. So what is throwing? Throwing is to cause something to move out of your hand and through the air by quickly moving your arm forward. So there are two types of throw pattern. First is the underhand yeah. movement and the overhand, overhand movement. So we will talk about first the underhand movement. When we say underhand movement, it is performed with the hand below the level of the elbow or the arm below the level of the shoulder. So this is the correct steps in the underhand throw. First is to swing, step, and draw. Step with your opposite foot. The second one is the overhand movement. It is a single-handed throw where the object is thrown from above the shoulders. So, here is the correct steps in overhand throw. First is to side to target. Second, uppercase L, <coughs> step, twist, throw, and step with your opposite foot. Is everything clear with the underhand and overhand movement? Yes, teacher. Okay, we will have an activity. Now, I want you to look for a pair because we will be having an activity. Together with your pair, you have to perform to the class the two types of throw pattern, which is the underhand and overhand movement. So, I will be the one to provide the materials that we will be using during the performance. Okay, we have the first pair. Zaya and Maya Daisy, you did a great job in your performance. Based on our discussion, since you all understand our lesson today, who can describe what is underhand movement? Yes, Maya Daisy. Underhand movement mm -hmm. is performed with the hand below the elbow. Okay, that's right. How about overhand movement? Overhand movement is a single-handed throw where the object is thrown from above the shoulders. Okay, that's right. So, what is the difference between underhand and overhand movement? Yes, Maria. Underhand movement is performed arm below the level of the shoulders, while overhand movement is a single-handed throw where the object is thrown from above the shoulders. Okay, very good. Okay, for your application, we will have a group activity. I will divide the class into five groups. I prepare here 15 pictures. Each group will have three pictures and you will identify whether underhand or overhand movement. The group who will finish first will get higher points. Okay, this is for group 1, group 2, and for the group 3. So, for your assessment, identify the following pictures. Write capital U if the picture shows underhand movement. And capital O if the picture shows overhand movement. So, what is your answer for number one? 
our hand movement. Okay, very good. Number two. Under hand movement. Okay. Next image. Are you done? Yes. So what is your answer for number three? Overhand movement. And for number four, underhand movement. Okay, it is underhand movement. For item number five, underhand movement. And for number six, overhand movement. Okay, very good, overhand. Okay, for number seven, underhand movement. Okay, that is underhand movement. For the last item, overhand movement. Okay, it is overhand movement. Since you all understand our lesson for today, here is your assignment. Take a video that you are doing the underhand movement and overhand movement. Do it at your home. Make sure that you are wearing your PE attire and guided by your parents. Are you done copying class? Yes, teacher. Do you have any clarification or question about our assignment? No, teacher. Okay. So what have you learned about our topic this morning? Yes, Mary Daisy. I learned about the true pattern which is the underhand movement and the overhand movement. Okay, very good. The throw pattern, which is the underhand and overhand movement. Since we are done with our discussion today, please clean your desk and put all your things inside your bag. So are you done? Yes, teacher. Okay, please stand up for our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Goodbye and take care.